Hey there guys, it's Tell You How here, and today I'm going to be bringing you a review of my phone here. It's the HTC Droid Incredible 1. Um, it's kind of like a little retro review because the phone's been out for quite a while now. But uh, it is still the droid that I have and love. But uh, as you guys can probably tell, I am kind of out of the weather, you know, a little bit sick. But um, anyways, let's get on with this review. I did film it yesterday, so I'm doing this intro a day later. But uh, I just wanted to do this intro because I felt that I needed... Um, an alternate intro other than the other one that I filmed. So uh, enjoy the video guys and be sure to subscribe. See you guys later. Alright guys, so the first thing that I said that we would look at is appearance. Now, uh, here in the shot here we have the front of the phone and then the back cover of the phone. And uh, the reason that I did that is because I wanted to get a view of the front and back. But uh, I'll show you guys more in a minute, so let's take a look. So basically starting from the top here, we have the speaker, the Verizon logo, the 3.7 inch screen, the four soft keys, and the little analog stick. Now more on the soft keys, the one on the left is the home key, the next one over is the menu key and the two on the right are the back button and the search key. And on the back cover here we have the cutouts for the camera, the flash, and the speaker, as well as the HTC logo. And it kind of has this mold pattern into it to where you hold it, it kind of feels a little bit you know, off-center in your hand, but you kind of know, and you, re, you, know, you reassure yourself in your mind that it's okay. But uh, it does feel kind of weird when you're using it and stuff like that when you're texting. But uh, near the bottom of the phone here we have the Google logo because this phone is based around Google and you can like sign in with your Google accounts for Gmail and Google Plus and YouTube and all that good stuff. So um, why don't we finish off this with another pan shot of the phone. And one more cool thing on the back here, it does have a red finish. So when you guys are looking at it, when you take the cover off, it kind of looks pretty cool. And one more thing is that my lights kind of make it look like it's pink, but it really is like a blood red type of finish. So uh, just one more cool feature. So this little black piece right here is actually a spot where you can put a micro SD card, which does support up to 32 gigs of flash memory. So that's pretty cool. You can keep all your music and photos and videos, contacts, anything else you want to save on there, you can. So uh, that's pretty cool. All right, so when you look at some of the phone's ports and jacks, uh, they're kind of located on mainly the top and left sides. Uh, I'll try to keep it in the light. On the top here, we basically have the uh, 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. And over here, I don't know if you guys can see it, is the power button. Also, screen lock button, so when you press it, the screen does turn on. And on the left side here, you guys probably can't see this because it's kind of flush and it's also painted black. So here's the volume rocker right here, which doesn't get bumped in my pocket and actually works fairly well. And the mini USB slash charging port. And uh, as far as the rest of the phone, nothing else is really on either of the sides of the phone pretty much. So the top and the left is mainly where you're going to find most of your ports and jacks. Alright, so when you have the phone on, it's basically like any other Android device as far as the lock screen goes. You pretty much drag it down and then put your passcode in, if I can even do it. So yeah, you put your passcode in and it's pretty much like anything else. Uh, HTC does have kind of a little special little layout over their phones as far as the clock and stuff goes. But if you guys have other Android devices, you can also download this version of the clock right here in the Android market. And it kind of serves as the same purpose. But uh, basically you can scroll right and left for your different home pages. I just have mine set up, you know, how I like it. And this one over here is blank. But uh, obviously that's part of the Android type of, you know, user experience. Is that you can kind of do whatever you want with your, you know, home screen and stuff like that. Alright, so this is the part where the little analog stick comes in because when you run your finger across it, it basically serves as when you're moving your screens back and forth. So uh, if you don't feel like doing that or touching your screen or smudging it up or whatever, then you can just do this and it works as the same purpose. So uh, not that bad, but pretty cool. And when you press it down, it kind of serves as an OK button. Obviously, if we hit the home button, then we go back to the home screen. So uh, there's that. Alright, so now more about the specs in this phone. It does feature the one gigabyte Snapdragon processor along with 512 megabytes of RAM, which actually is not bad for a phone, you know, considering it's only a phone. And uh, it runs pretty fast for me, considering I have some apps on it that cut down on battery life and usage. But um, basically, that's kind of what I'm running on mine. And when we turn the phone over here, obviously the camera is here. And one thing I wanted to talk about was uh, the 8 megapixel camera here for still footages. And uh, when you're filming video, it does film 720p video, which is pretty cool. 
So um, I'm now I'm going to flash up some pictures taken with this phone and video taken with this phone in 720p HD. Alright, so here is some test video of the HTC Droid Incredible. As I said, I would put it in the video. So, uh, yeah. Some other houses around where I live and such. Stuff like that. There's my truck. I guess I could kind of try and get a little bit closer. See if you guys can see some of the detail or anything. Once again, this is a cell phone camera, so I mean, there's not much, a ton you can expect, but uh, not as bad as it could be. This is 720p, by the way. And uh, yeah, there's a quality test of the HTC Droid Incredible. And that just about wraps it up for the review of this phone. And if you guys have any questions, be sure to leave them in the comments, as well as subscribe to help out the channel. That'd be awesome. See you guys in the next video. Peace.